Wow, that was fast delivery. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to select RAM and how to install it into a Dell XPS 8930 desktop PC. Alright, so the reason why I'm upgrading my RAM is because first of all it's on sale. Most importantly, I just found out that my Adobe Premiere Pro will not function unless it's got 32 gigabyte of RAM for 4K video editing. As you can see right here, there's a compiling error as I was trying to edit and process and export my um, comic book haul video. There is an error code 3. Minimum requirements are 8GB of RAM. This is straight from their website, by the way. 16GB of 1080p HD video and the recommended 32GB of RAM. Currently, I have 16GB of RAM. Now, keep in mind, the speed is... 2666 megahertz so today I am going to add 16 more gigabytes of RAM for a total of 32 gigabytes looks like team group is having a sale all right you see a whole bunch of different numbers that some of you guys might not understand we are strictly speaking DDR for RAM is the latest now notice the speed right here 3000 megahertz mine it's a little bit older that's why I say 2666 megahertz but that's okay because these different speed of ram are compatible with each other as long as they're ddf 4 r4 ram it would the system would just use it at the slower speed so that's okay now it was split into two six see how the 16 gigabyte is split into two two by eight you have to buy it in pairs you can't combine like a 16 gigabyte with a eight gigabyte you have to each slide have to be paired up evenly all right, so now look at the different prices that we see right here. You see the 16 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte by 2, 3 dollar megahertz. C16, or what does a C mean? That basically means cast latency. It basically is the delay in clock cycles between the read command and the moment data is available. So the lower, the better. So we see a C16 right here, but we also see a C18. To keep in mind, the lower the C, the faster it is. All right, now what's different prices? So if we go and click here, you see how the, um, I'm mainly interested in 16 gigabytes, two by eight, so it's $75 for that. And we see the, the 32 megahertz one. I think they are out of that. But if we click the different configurations, um, you have more options, it gets higher in price. C18, C. C16 is cheaper than C18. C32 gigabyte is runs up to 150 and astronomical price for a uh, 32 gigabyte three, uh, 161. All right. And I believe. Looks like they're out of the 64 gigabyte ones, but that was like $300. See how it's $300? All right, I decided to go with the C16. Now for the color, it's a little different pricing, $74.99 for the gray. You have the red, I like the red, because it really stands out easier to find, $75. And for the camel, of course, a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and decide to order the C16, because it fits and it's compatible in the red. You gotta love Amazon Prime. Same day delivery. Can't get faster than that. So it looks like it's coming shipped in this packaging. Okay. Oh wow. Check it out. T Force Volcan Z. I like the color. Everything. Uh, gotta love upgrading computer components. All right. So first off the bat, very easy packaging. Simple packaging. That looks like a transformer color. I love it. See? T team group, 16 gigabyte, 2 by 8 DDR4, 3000 megahertz. Um, see here the CO, all that nomenclature. And on the back, simple design. I've never heard of this brand before, but from Amazon, there were over 6,000. Um, very good reviews. It's, it's a lifetime warranty. Wow. 
Okay. This is the easy part. Taking this part. Slightly harder part is um, <laughs> taking apart my Dell XPS. Now I think I just bust this open. Okay, make sure to handle with care. I don't want to get my thumbprints on the um, important components. Okay, just for you tech heads out there, this is what it looks like. All right, let's get to installing it. Everything looks great. Here's my Dell XPS 8930 that I purchased back in 2019. This is a special silver edition. I purchased this for right under $1,600, so not exactly cheap. I've owned XPS before, so located in the back, there's this lever right here. What you want to do is pull it out. See how the panel pops up? Pull it out, and it's a little bit compact in there, and a little bit dark. Okay, with the flash on, right off the bat, I noticed the RAM hiding underneath all this frame. See the two white RAMs right there? That's the original 16 gigabyte of RAM. So somehow I'm gonna have to reach down there into the two black spot, slots. You see the two white slots already taken? I'm gonna insert them into the two black slots. Somehow I'm gonna have to be able to reach down there and open up the black slots right here. See how it opens up, snap it down. But I can't really reach over there so I might have to uh, use a screwdriver. Okay, I'm going to attempt to insert the first one. I believe it doesn't matter uh, which orientation. Oh man, I wish I had a bigger tower to work with. You have to line it up. I think I got the first one in. So it snaps in place. So you have to press it with a little bit of force. So these clips automatically uh, snaps and locks in place. Now for the harder part, tighter fit, same orientation as I have the other one. Wish me luck. I think I have it. Okay, I think I have it all locked in place. That looks lined up. I think we're good. And in this orientation with the front facing that way, line up with the slots, pop it back in. Simple like that. Time to switch it on. Wish me luck. The moment of truth. Actually, I wasn't expecting this. Well, in the BIOS, it's detecting the memory, see? That's 32 gigabytes, DD4, DDR4 memory. I'm just gonna escape. All right, after the BIOS is restarting, that looks good. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, for the moment of truth, let's go to system. And there you see it, 32 gigabyte of RAM. And that's my processor. All right, let's go to control out delete, go to task manager and go to performance. And there you see right there, I have 32 gigabyte of RAM. It looks like my speed dropped from 2666 to 2400 megahertz. That's a little bit weird. All four slots are used. Okay guys, here I have a 20 minute video editing in 4K quality. 
before Adobe would give me errors with the 16 gigabyte of RAM and it looks like it's editing fine right now 30 minutes it says but in addition to that I am going to run some additional software I'm running OBS studio recording in 4k and also playing this uh, 4k YouTube video all right, All right guys. I'm Ross Dress for uh, I'm now let me show you the amount of RAM is using oh, see at it's clocking in at 2400 oh, megahertz um, if you want to change and clock oh. it to the maximum 3000 you have to go into BIOS I didn't mess around with that see it's showing that more is being used less is being available but we have 32 gigabyte now yeah so this RAM is definitely good quality it's made in Taiwan uh, a, a place that I trust because they make Asus computers and uh, MSI com laptop computers I have Asus monitors they never gave me problems I have it for like almost five years now so I definitely recommend it for $75 here we go the moment of truth I'm so happy it worked do yourself a favor and upgrade to the recommended Adobe specifications of 32 gigabyte and no more having to deal with headaches.